Hey guys, welcome back to another math lesson. Today we are talking about volume of prisms. And let's refresh over what exactly a prism is. The most familiar one you're going to have is a rectangular prism, which this was the net. And then when you folded it up, it's a box. So we're very familiar with these rectangular prisms. They have rectangle bases and rectangle lateral faces. Now this one is a triangular prism. It has two triangle bases and three rectangle lateral faces. And when you fold it up, it looks like this. Now what makes this one tricky is that a lot of times it's not going to sit on its base like this. It's going to sit like this. And you have to remember this is a triangular prism. So the triangles are the bases. All right. Here is the formula for trying or here's the formula for prisms, all prisms, no matter what kind of prism, this is the formula. Now let's look at our two kinds of prisms. We have rectangular and triangular. So I'm going to split them and we're going to do rectangular over here. Rectangular. And triangular over here. Because again, we use the same formula, the same process. It's just finding the area of the base is going to be different. So our formula, well, hang on, rectangular, rectangular prisms, draw a rectangle and then go off and away. So I'm going to go down into the left and we'll go a little bit, draw another rectangle. And then connect the corners or the vertices. And now we have a rectangular prism. And my dimensions for this rectangular prism are going to be three deep, five wide, and four tall. Now, my triangular prism, we're going to draw it kind of the same. We draw the base, a triangle. And then we go off to the side, down a little bit, up a little bit. We'll go up a little bit on this one. Draw another triangle because the triangle is the base. Triangle, triangle. So we have two triangular bases. And then we connect the vertices to make a triangular prism. Now, the dimensions on this one are going to be H is three, so this little dotted line right here, that is three. The width here is six, and this is five. Make sure you put your little right angle sign, because remember, find your right angle on your triangles, and that points to the base and the height of the triangle. If they gave you the slant of one of these, that's to throw you off. Don't use that for this. All right. The first thing we're going to do step by step. Step one, identify the shape. Step one, identify shape. Say its name, first name, last name. This is a rectangular prism. This is a triangular prism. Once you've identified the shape, then you're going to write the formula. You're going to copy formula. So identify shape, copy the formula. The formula here is V equals capital BH. V equals capital BH and V equals capital BH. Now, once you've copied your formula, we need to talk about what that formula means. The capital B part is the area of the base. So capital B is area of base. Now remember when we have our first name, last name shape, rectangular prism, triangular prism, the 
first name is the shape of the base. So for a rectangular prism, what shape is the base? It is a rectangle. I'm going to shade my rectangle base over here. So step three, well, over here, triangular prism. What is the shape of the base? It is a triangle. So I'm going to shade kind of really lightly because I don't want to cover up my numbers. The triangles. The triangles are my base. And the rectangles over here are my base. We're only going to need one though. But remember, prisms have two. So once I've copied my formula, now I need to talk about capital B. Capital B is the area of base. So over here, I need to find the area of this rectangle. And over here, I need to find the area of the triangle. So continuing on, we're just going to do one, then we'll come back and do the other one. So area of the base. What is the formula for area of a rectangle? A equals BH. What is the base and height? Actually, what's the area of this blue shaded rectangle? It is 15 because 5 times 3 equals 15. So capital B here is 15. So capital B is 15. All right, now my next step, area of base. After I found area of the base, now I have to multiply by height. Multiply, multiply by height. And this is height of the prism. So this H is height of prism. Height of the prism. Now, that can kind of get confusing because over here, a lot of people are tempted to say that this is the height, but the height is the distance between bases. So height is the distance between bases. So over here, I'm looking for the number between the blue rectangles. Which number is between the blue rectangles? Four. So when I multiply by height, I'm going to take 15 times 4, which is 60. Now that's it. The volume, so if I filled this rectangle up, the volume of this rectangular prism is 60. Now let's repeat these steps with our triangle. So we left off after we copied the formula. Now we need to find area of the base. So we've got base, capital B. Which shape is the base? It's the triangle. I'm going to ask this multiple times because everybody always forgets. How do you find area of a triangle? A equals one half B H. Now, what is the base and height of this triangle? I recommend take your hand and cover up the part of the triangle that's not the triangle. What is the base and the height of this triangle? It's six and three. What is the area? Remember, there's our area formula. What is the area of that triangle? Nine, because area of the base, I've got one half times six times three, and that was 18. And one half of 18 is nine. One half of 18 is nine. Now, am I done? No, I just found the area of the base. I still have to multiply by the height. What is the height of this prism? Remember, height is the distance between bases. So what is the height of this prism? Five, this is H. 
like this over here was H. So between the blue triangles is five. So I take nine, because that's capital B, times five, because that's H, and I get 45. So the volume of this prism is 45. All right, that's it. Good luck, have fun practicing, and I will see you guys next time. Later.